Welcome to episode 27 of No BS TS. In this one, we took a look at Redux and Redux Toolkit to share a state globally, but do it in a type safe and relatively easy to use way. This is the first time that I've looked at Redux Toolkit on this channel. I'm really excited bringing it to you. Let's take a look at the application as it stands as of episode 24, which we're gonna use as a starting point to get into Redux and a Redux Toolkit. All right, so here we go. Here is our simple to-dos application where you can just add a to-do. This is all currently just using a custom hook that we created called use to-dos. So instead, we are going to use Redux, and we're gonna use Redux using this Redux toolkit. So let us jump down here to using it in an existing app. I'm gonna do yarn add Redux toolkit to our app. And then start it up again. All right, let's see. A little bit of cleanup over here, looking good. So let's go back over to the documentation page and go down to quick start. And with that, so we've done our install of that. So we're gonna go and create a store file. It's basically just gonna have everything in it. Now, I really encourage you, if you wanna get into this, to actually spend a lot of time with the documentation and all the rest. This is kind of a lightning review of this. So let's do store.ts and bring it in. Looking pretty good so far. All right, so what do we need to do? Well, we need to go and add that store to our app. So let's go and bring in provider. So go back over here to app.tsx. We'll bring in provider from React Redux and we'll bring in our store from the store. So that's already exported. So import store from store, away we go. And I've got to go create a new app wrapper. And this is gonna have our app in it, but it's gonna be wrapped in our provider and the store is the store. There we go, app, away we go. Cool, let's take a look, see if this works. All right, can't get React Redux, so let's go and add that. You're on add React Redux. So Redux is platform agnostic, you can use it with view, you can use it in a CLI app, you can use it wherever you want to. So in this case, React Redux is the bindings between React and Redux. So let's again start the app. All right, that looks like I exported that wrong. Yeah, okay. Easy peasy fix. There we go. App wrapper done. All right. Looking great, done! No, just kidding. Okay, so the next thing we need to do, if we go back over here to our quick start, is to jump down here to creating a slice. So you have a global store in Redux, and in the toolkit model, you can have slices of that store. So for example, you might have like a user slice that might store information about the current user. You might have a to-do slice that would have they're the current user's list of to-dos. You might have a profile slice that would have you know, all their settings or that sort of thing. So it's not a nice way to kind of divvy up the global singleton store that you have in a React app or a Redux app. All right, so let's go and create a slice for our to-dos. So we'll go and bring in create slice. And we can just add that onto this import right here. All right, so now with that in there, I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna grab to do. And so by the end of this, we will not have used to do's anymore. And then I'm gonna say that our state is a list of to do's. And then I'm gonna say that our initial state, which is a to do slice state has an empty set of to do's. Ta-da! Okay, now let's go back over and see how we do create slice. 
Let's go bring that in. Like so. We'll call this to do's slice. And we'll set that to the initial state, like so. Great. OK, cool. So we don't want increment. We want add to do. And this is really nice, actually. Older ones, you had to have a big switch statement. This is actually a really nice way to do this. You can just kind of mutate stuff in place. So let's take a look at here. And we will say that our new to do's is defined this way. So state dot to do's equals, and then that new array, state to do's, state to do's length. All right, so in this case, our action has some text associated with it. So it's got that piece of text. How do we define that? Well, we can say that we have an action coming in. It is a payload action, and that comes in as part of the React JS toolkit. And then you can give it a type. So in this case, it's a, just a string. So let's go over here. We'll say that this is going to be the action dot payload. There you go. And that's a type of string. And then we're going to have a remove to do down here. And it's going to have an action payload as well. And that's just going to be a number because that number is going to be that ID. OK, cool. And we don't need increment this one down here. And let's go and implement on that. So let's see the filter. Here we go. State dot to do's equals state dot to do's filter. Great. And one more thing action dot payload. Awesome. Cool. Okay. So let's go back over to our thing and see now. Okay. So we've got these constants. So let's export those. And we'll say it's add to do and then remove to do and it's not the counter slice it's the to do slice like that cool great so then we need to add the reducer for that slice to our list of globally registered reducers and the way that we do that is we go in here and we say to do's and then we give it that to do slice, but to give it the reducer off of that. Very, very cool. Let's go and see if this is actually still working. All right, seems to be fine. We're not really doing anything with it yet. OK, so here's where we're going to differ a little bit from the canned intro, and we're going to go and give some concessions to TypeScript. So I'm going to go and set this to store and then have that exported as the default. And the next thing we need to do is define a type for the root state. So that is the overall state of the store. So I'll create that one called. So I'll create that type and we'll call it root state. And it's going to be a return type from the type of the store.get state. Let's take a look at that. So that's got to do's in it. That's good. That's good so far. And now I'm going to export a selector and that allows us to cleave off the to do's. So it's export const select to do's and then given a state, which is itself a root state, it's going to get state dot to do's dot to do's. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, let's go back over to our app and we are going to import use selector and use dispatch. And then we're going to use selector to get the to do's. So let's do to do's equals use selector. And now I've got to bring in the selector that we created. So let's go back over here to the store. We're looking for select to do's. So let's go back in from the store. Cool. And then we'll do select to do's in here. Nice. All right. And that collides with these. So we're finally going to get rid of these guys. All right. And so we also need to bring in the add to do's and remove to do just like that. And we'll use those with the dispatch. So let's get down here again. 
Dispatch. Use Dispatch. Cool. Nice. Okay. And then we are going to do a Dispatch of an Add To Do. Nice. And then a Dispatch of a Remove To Do down here. Okay, let's see how we go. This is cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, not bad. So let's go and see if we can actually use it in another component and complete essentially the global state. So let's go back over here to our app wrapper and we're just gonna create another component called just the to do's. And it is going to return that UL of the to-dos, but of course we got to get those. So let's go bring in that UL first. And we're not gonna alert or anything like that. We're just gonna give it, that's fine. In this case, we're just gonna render the text like so, easy peasy. But of course they're like, hey, you need those to-dos. And by the way, we can, camp on let's see dispatch and was that gonna work yeah that's that's fine okay to do's All, we're also gonna select that over here great and let's see so we can get rid of that and let's put those side by side fantastic let's take a look all right well let's put them side by side make it all look nice Put a div on there. With a display of a grid. Grid template columns is 50-50. And we will take our app and just the to-dos, drop it in the middle of that, and then wrap that in the provider. And now they should be side by side. Beautiful, side by side. Excellent. Very cool. Now, let's see. So Redux, what are some cool things about it? Well, we can go over here. We can see that when we run, I say hello. Nice. Counter add to do. Mm, all right. Well, let's go and that's probably an issue over here. Store. Let's see. Ah, that's the name. Okay. Let's make that to do's. Cool. And now we can start to see. Okay. So if I add one. And I remove it. There we go. Very cool. And so we can see all that using the Redux dev tools on the side that actually integrates with a bunch of different state managers, but obviously it's really good for Redux. All right. Well, obviously this is just scratching the barest surface of Redux. Redux is monstrous and there's a huge ecosystem around it, but the Redux toolkit does make it a lot easier. You can do things like asynchronous actions a lot more easily with it. You can get better typing. It's just a great toolkit. Building on top of this is of course systems like Redux Saga, which adds a lot of extra functionality if you have a, a larger app and probably a larger team to go along with it. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button Please leave comments about these videos. They really help with the YouTube algorithm and to get more notice of this series and of this channel in general. And of course, in the meantime, if you like, hit that subscribe button and click on that bell and you'll be notified the next time a new No BSTS video arrives.